I'm not giving my next job to a subscriber. So if you if you fell for that, uh, if you're here for that, if you're expecting a, a little a little handout, a little baby handout, then you can just go ahead and leave. All right, go ahead and leave. Uh, this video is about the. This video is just about the power of the words "what if," mainly dealing with uh, storytelling. So we're just here. We go. Here we go. We're going. So basically, when I'm when I'm uh, storytelling, when I'm drawing, when I'm painting, I'm whatever I'm creating the story. I'm using the words "what if" a lot. Okay. Here's the problem. A lot of stories suffer when it comes to two things: simplicity and fresh ideas. By using the words "what if," I can kind of clear up some of that stuff. Okay, so this can literally be applied to anything that's uh, music, martial arts, or cooking, or anything like that. I'm just gonna use this uh, still frame shot as an example. Okay, so when I'm using, when I'm doing these shots, I'm, or even when I'm doing boards, I'm asking myself the simple question, what if? What if I can tell this character's story in exactly one single image? That's a really big what if. Okay, so at first this sounds super easy, and it really is depending on what kind of uh, story you want to tell. I'll get to that in a second. All right, so uh, here's the point of all this. There are tons of ways to do things, obviously. There are very complicated ways, very detailed ways, very abstract ways, but what we're going for is the most clear and simple way. In storytelling, in writing, film, or songs, or anything like that, sometimes, especially me, I can get really overwhelmed by like all the possibilities. All the possibilities of trying to get my message across. So in amateur writing and amateur storytelling, I see this a lot, you'll create multiple scenes, even in comics and stuff like that. You'll create multiple scenes where you try to like explain who the character is. You're gonna like fill the dialogue with like super drawn out sentences of them explaining and saying the same thing over and over and over again. A lot of people at that point think like, this scene doesn't make any sense. How do I make it better? I need more. I need like more, more, more. I need more dialogue, more poses to show this or that, just more stuff. And I see a lot of students work in like concept art and stuff like that. It's, it's the same thing. They just think more is the answer. Adding more detail, like really get in there and add all the detail. So obviously more doesn't mean better. We're gonna go for quality over quantity. Okay, so for me, it's simple. I use the same mindset as in like writing or comedy. There is like a setup and a punchline. So you can't just walk up on stage and say the punchline, right? You have to make the audience want more first with the setup. So I don't even have to know like the punchline or the story. I just have to have an interesting question. Also in writing, it's called promise and payoff. It can also be called clickbait. It's something that just makes you say, what? You know, and you watched it till the end, and then often there's no payoff. That's uh, that's called bad writing with the no payoff. Anyway, what we're, essentially what we're doing right here is using the words "what if" to make interesting clickbait. That's just, that's what I'm doing essentially. Okay, like I said before, the problem was a lot of stories suffer from when it comes to simplicity and fresh ideas. Let's go over fresh ideas. A good idea doesn't make a good story, but it can make for something fresh, a fresh take on something. So, okay, so imagine this: what if? There was an amusement park, but instead of amusements, they had dinosaurs. How about that? What if there was a dude, but he was dead the whole time? What if there was a war, but it's in space? You know, these are like interesting twists. So it's, in, it's taking something that you kind of expect, and then it's just adding a twist to it. So how do I apply that to a single image when I'm drawing? First, you gotta keep it simple. You gotta start off really simple by setting the stage. Okay, here's a setting, here's a stage set. Let's say there's a, a drug deal going down, a handoff at a dinner table. So th this is like my mindset if I'm going through a piece that I'm about to create. And what's interesting is that it's it's actually, it's writing, I'm essentially writing, but so, so the drawing and stuff comes later. It's the story that comes first. Okay, drug deal going down, handoff at a dinner table. Some people would stop there. That's what some people think storytelling is, just stopping right there. But me personally, I need to go a bit deeper. So now I start uh, asking and answering questions. What if? What if instead of drugs, it's something you wouldn't expect? What if instead of serious, one of uh, the, the people at the table is extremely sad? So I'm thinking like, why sad? You know, it's like asking questions, answering questions, things that are a bit plausible and things that are interesting. What if instead of uh, a diner, it's at a, like a really fes uh, fancy restaurant? Uh, like with fancy waiters. So now I'm thinking what if one of the waiters is actually doing the handoff and the other person at the table doesn't know about it? What if the deal is happening underneath the table and only us, only the audience, can see what's happening? So at that point I might have gone too far, but but that's like my mindset. Now I can start to bring it back from there. Simplify it. So it's all about um, like subverting expectations into something fresh. So I'll go to the, into this more into my other video about subtext. Here's the question, what if I can tell this character's story in one single image? That's powerful, alright? Through a uh, simple, subtle look 
in the eye, through a, a, a placement of the hand, not even a single word spoken. Could you imagine the impact of that? As opposed to a scene with, filled with like extremely chaotic shots and the camera's everywhere and the dialogue is just never ending. So obviously, this is pretty tough. It requires thinking, which is really lost in a lot of uh, media these days. And to that I say, uh, make yourself think, make your audience think.